here's how to make a 3D scanning from start to finish with SolPro 3D Scanner. The object I'll be scanning is an ear impression made of a soft silicone based material. The ear impression is 30mm long, 23mm wide and 38mm high. The size of it fits with my Sol Pro scanner set in near position. The Sol Pro Creator software lets you choose your settings here, shows the status and current options here, and gives you instructions on what to do next, right here. In this case, I would like my result in full resolution, but I don't need any added accuracy, so I choose the normal scanning mode. You can save time by reusing the calibration as long as the scanner has not been turned off. It is possible to toggle the options for texture and unsteady object at any time before meshing. However, your dark surface choice is locked once your first scanning pass has begun. I want to include the texture in my final model and the ear impression is rather light in color and will sit steadily on the turntable, so I don't need to check any of the object options. Sol Pro begins the scanning process with an automatic calibration with the turntable empty. The calibration ensures alignment between the scanner head and the turntable. When the calibration is complete, the software presents you with two cylinders on the turntable. These indicate the minimum and maximum object size that you can scan with the scanner in its current position. Place your object in a stable position on the turntable. If possible, your first scanning pass should be with the object in the most upright orientation. This will make it easier for the software to automatically align multiple point clouds. Click Continue Scanning to start your first scanning pass. Each scanning pass consists of the laser sweeping 10 times over the turntable. After a few sweeps, the software switches from live video to showing the continuous building of the point cloud as more and more information is processed. For a scanning to result in a full 360 degrees 3D model, the entire object's surface needs to be exposed to the camera and laser at least once. However, you should keep the scanning passes to a minimum, as this will both save time and optimize the accuracy. So even though Sol Pro Creator can automatically align up to 5 scanning passes, 2 or 3 are usually enough. Following each finalized scanning pass, you will see thumbnails of the point clouds and how well they automatically align to the first one. In this case, they are all aligned. The third scanning pass is shown smaller and this little artifact is the reason. But as long as the alignment is correct, I can safely start meshing. Any unwanted artifacts are removed automatically in the meshing process. After meshing, you can inspect your 3D model and decide if you need to add more scanning passes, delete and maybe replace an entire point cloud, or to manually align. I can see that my three scanning passes and the automatic alignment got it all covered, so I click Save. The 3D model now automatically opens in Sol Pro Viewer, where you can inspect it in different renderings, such as shaded or faceted texture, X-ray and wireframe. You can also upload it for sharing or export your model in various file formats for further editing in third-party software or for 3D printing. And that's how you scan with SolPro 3D Scanner. Let us know if you have any questions about 3D scanning with SolPro.